completion funds for that film. Mm. Those for the small amounts, 5,000. I mean, small to me, as far as doing feature work, but small amounts, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000. So I never checked for it, checked for it. I knew it was good, but you know, it was really, you know, that was about it. Then my TA, brother named Julius Pryor III, hit me to what happened with Veronica Mars. Veronica Mars was a canceled TV show, had been off the air seven years. And they went to Kickstarter and raised five and a half million dollars. Zach Braff of Scrubs fame, another show that was canceled with my man Donald Faison, mm -hmm. playing his boy. He raised three and a half million dollars on Kickstarter. So then that's when I had to change my thinking about Kickstarter and that this might be a viable way this crowdfunding to get a, a small film made. In fact, the truth is that this film that we're trying to get done, I was really thinking about doing it when the whole thing with Old Boy happened, because Old Boy just came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Old Boy, the Korean remake that everybody. Well, we're not using the word remake. Okay. We're saying reinterpretation. Reinterpretation. Yes, okay. reinterpretation. All right. Uh, uh, we everybody's kind of like trying to guess, you know, what what type of film you, you're gonna make for this. The, you, you've been keeping out the details on the wrap for what this film would be. Um, but can you tell us, like, I mean, it's something like something that's gonna give us a, a hint of what genre? I mean, I've heard people say that you're gonna do a Trayvon Martin movie. That you're gonna do whoa, 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 something whoa, whoa. Uh, and I'm gonna kickstart and do a Trayvon Martin. I mean, this is what yeah. this is what the this is what the the social street. stratosphere is, is is saying. I'm not even gonna say the street. I'm gonna say the, the Twitter sphere is saying all type of things about you know what your movie would be. Can you give us? Yeah, a, but here's the thing, though. I mean, I've never ever said anything about Trayvon Martin. I mean, if you go to Kickstarter.com and you see the Spike Lee page. I've said it, and it reads that this is a, a film about a film about people addicted to blood, mm. but not vampires. When this is not the Black Twilight, when I'm bringing back bringing back Blackula, mm -hmm. uh, it's a psychological bloody thriller. So it's it's written. It's written right It's yeah. written. I've said it. So I don't know how Trayvon Martin, rest his soul, gets got in that in that conversation as far as me being on Twitter. It's it's it's, 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 yeah. it's bananas. <laughs> yeah. Now uh, I've looked at the Kickstarter page. You got different levels where if somebody donates, they get to screen it. If somebody donates, they get a pair. Of, Pair of shoes as autographed by Jordans. A pair of Jordans, of course. Uh, or or somebody gets a courtside tickets to sit with you at a Knicks game. And dinner. And dinner. Um, what's where's the level? Where do, do people get to get in and be like a, a co-producer or a so? Is there? A, Here's the thing, though. We make it very affordable for everybody to participate because as you go to Obama campaign, it was those five dollars and ten dollar contributions that made the difference. And that's where we lack that's where we are lacking now. Mm -hmm. These five dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars, fifteen dollars. Pledges. There's a mindset that I feel that people think that Oh shit, you know, my thoughts, my thoughts. Oh, shit, my God. They ain't helps my my ten are looking out, but that but that that's that's not true. And so that's why I hope you guys can help 
change that narrative, change that, that, that fallacy. Every dollar helps. I'll give you an example. My first film, E, you should write, make, I gotta write this down for okay. mine, because I gotta get, I gotta write this, put this up on the web page. My first film, she's gonna have it cost $175,000. But we never, ever, ever had that money in one lump sum. We shot in 12 days, two six-day weeks in the summer, the hot summer of 1985. And you know, when it's hot, you drink a lot of beverages. We saved every empty soda can and bottle for that nickel deposit. And those nickels added up to two more rolls of film, mm. which we didn't have. So, again, there's this, people have all types of misconceptions. But I just came out of film school right away and made sheets to have No, there was a, it took three years. I finished NYU 82. We didn't shoot. She's to have until 85. So I just, just it didn't, it didn't happen overnight. All right. We saved the empty soda cans and bottles for the nickel deposit to buy two, two extra rolls of film. Mm -hmm. As a professor of film, as you see like technology playing a part in original content going online and things like House of Cards getting an Emmy nomination for Netflix, mm -hmm. what do you think that means as opportunities for filmmakers and, and content creators that maybe you didn't have when you were starting in, you know, coming out of the tissue. Oh, there was no, there was no internet. Yeah. I'm talking about 